Hi guys, I'm Neha. Welcome to JS Lovers V Blog. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe below. If you like this video, give thumbs up. If you have any feedback or suggestion, please write below. So today's video is about for anyone who wanted to start with web development. This is the most asked question, at least to me, by a lot of people whom I met uh, on my meetup, whom I talked on Facebook, LinkedIn, and on Quora too. So today I decided that let's make a video on this. All right. Uh, so let's get started. That how you can start your career as a web developer. But before that, I would like to give you a disclaimer, guys. These are only my views. This could work for you, or this could not work for you. Uh, please do your own research. Please, if you are getting any opportunity, grab it, and let's see how we can move to a web development career. So I'm going to give you five uh, tips that how you can start with it. The first is what to learn. Second, from where to learn. Third, the tools you should use. Fourth, portfolio. And the last one is what's next. Okay, so moving to the first one, what to learn. Whenever you have decided something to learn, you move to internet and internet is floated with a lot of, lot of fancy stuff. So if you are new to web development field, you probably have done, had done the Google and you saw Angular, React, Bootstrap, Foundation, this, that, and lot, these things are coming on to you. Someone is saying learn React, someone is saying learn Angular. Uh, guys, my advice to you as you are just starting, stick to basics. The base of all these libraries and framework is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So focus on these three basic things. Make them strong. Make them be the master of these three uh, tech. And after that, you you can move easily to any framework or library. So guys, stick to basic. Stick to HTML, CSS, JavaScript first. Now the second thing, from where to learn. You know now that you want to focus on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but from where? Internet is full of resources. You have paid tutorials, you have free tutorials, you have blogs, you have books, you have PDFs, and everything. And at the end of the day, it all makes you confused. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to talk about the paid one here. I'm going to talk about the free one. What I feel as a developer that learning coding through books could be hard, it's best that if you see some video tutorials who are doing live coding in front of you, that would be more easy to understand. So guys, spend a decent amount on searching such tutorials and after that, follow them. Learn with them. Uh, I would, one, give, one advice I would like to give you here is that do not follow two or three tut tutorials altogether because they will confuse you. As long as you are master, I would not, I would not comment. But generally, try to stick to one tutorial only because programming is a field where uh, there are n numbers of ways to solve one single problem. Problem, sorry, pro problem. So it's better to stick to one tutorial and follow that. The third one is tools. So whenever you talk to developers or you meet someone they will say oh i use brackets oh i use this oh i use that guys don't be disheartened it's you who has to work on the tools so it's okay if you are using the most basic one just find your best tool see if you are comfortable in that and just be master on that none of the company force you to stick to particular tool as long as you are doing the task so it's okay just pick your own best tool, your best IDE in which you are comfortable and you are master. Awesome. Now moving to the fourth one, portfolio. So without a portfolio, you can't showcase, you can't prove, you can't claim that you are a developer. It's okay if you don't have a job in your hand. Programming is a field where they don't ask for the degrees, where they don't ask for the company experience letter, what they ask for a portfolio, where they ask for a GitHub or Stack Overflow portfolio. So guys, don't think that you had you have completed like n number of series in a day. What matters is how much you have coded and committed on GitHub. 
how much you have given back to the community so guys write three lines of code in a day but please write it's okay if you are coding like just three lines of code but as long as you are committing on github profile as long as your portfolio is speaking for yourself it's it's uh, it's like it's okay it's good so guys be on github be on stack overflow what you are learning to implement start implementing that start coding that and start putting that on github your portfolio should be your uh, main focus area now you know what to learn from where to learn you know your tools you know how important it is github the last one is what's next uh there are a lot of job portals there uh, you have linkedin also where you can apply for the jobs people can reach to us apart from that guys be active in the community apart from stack overflow github go to the local meetups go to the local hackathon participate in those interact with people you met a lot of people who who either working in some startup or have rich experience they can guide you they can help you so guys be active online as well as offline okay guys these are my own experience which i shared with you if you wanted to start your career in web development if you have any suggestions or some add ons uh, in this please write below okay guys bye